Once again, welcome to our lesson. Today's lesson is service area of a trough. We can get service area of a trough in gra grade 8 mathematics. So I want us, we understand exactly what a trough is before working it out. Like for instance here, I'm holding a cylinder. We can change this cylinder to become a trough by cutting it into two equal parts or into, two, into a half. Let's cut it together. A trough can be used to feed animals, especially for the farmers who practice zero grazing. After cutting your fodder crop, you just need to put it here in the trough and place it for the animals to feed. Also, a trough can be used to water animals. You put water here and animals come and drink it. So, how do we get service area of a trough? We are saying a trough basically is just a half of a cylinder. And we know how to get service area of a cylinder. Therefore, if we know to get service area of a cylinder, it's very easy for us to get service area of a trough. You need to begin by getting service area of a cylinder, which is 2 pi r squared plus pi b h. Therefore, the service area of a trough is a half of the service area of a cylinder. of a cylinder so this is service area of a cylinder now to get service area of a trough we are saying a trough is a half of a cylinder it's just 2 pi r squared plus pi d h all this divide by 2 this becomes service area of a trough of a trough for example, you can begin a, give, be given a question like find service area of a trough whose height is 14 and whose diameter is 7. A length or a height or a height of 14 centimeters and now because we are just saying to get service area of a trough it is just the area of a cylinder divided by 2 we are applying our formula here which is 2 times 22 over 7 which is our pi times our r which is 7 over 2 times 7 over 2 remember 7 is not the radius is the diameter so this gives us the first part of our formula plus pi dh which is 22 over 7 times our d which is 7 times our h which is 14 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 11 by 7 1 by 7 1 11 times 7 it's 7 7 so now we have our 2 pi r squared we now get the other part, which is pi dh, by 7, 1, by 7, 1. 14 times 22, 2 times 4, it's 8, 2 times 1, it's 2, 2 times 4, it's 8, and 2 times 1, it's 2. When you put together, you get 8, 2 plus 8, it's 10, 1 plus 2, it's 3. So we put this part together, 308 plus 7, 7. Plus seven, it's fifteen. Five, carry one. One plus zero, it's one. Plus seven, it's eight. Then we drop our three there. And this is the service area of a cylinder. To get service area now of a trough, remember it is a service area of a cylinder divided by two. Then now we divide three hundred and eighty-five divided by two. 
3 divided by 2, it's 1. 3 minus 2, it's 1. We drop our 8. 18 divided by 2, it's 9. Then we drop 5. 5 divided by 2, it's 2. Because of 4, we remain with 1. That one we have remained with, we can either write our answer in fraction or we put a decimal. So for a decimal point, we'll say that 1, we put a 0 becomes 10. 10 divided by 2, it's 5. So it's going to be 102.5 or we can proceed and change this one to a fraction, which is 1 and 2, 5 over 10 by 5, 1 by 5, 2. So 1 and 2 and a half centimeters squared. These are centimeters squared. And there now we have the surface area of our trough. Remember, trough is a half of a cylinder. It is just surface area of a closed cylinder divided by 2. And now we are able to get our formula. I wish to stop there and tell you that you continue practicing. Remember, practice makes perfect. Bye-bye.